Hi, this is Tim. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about how to scale a four to 20 milliamp value in a function block using the SCL scale instruction. Note that this is an excerpt from a live stream, so it is not perfect. Okay, let's talk about a couple other things though. So yeah, one um, early on, and yeah, it's been too long now, I can't even remember who it was, but uh, somebody asked, well, where is the scale instruction? There is no scale instruction in this in Studio 5000's ladder logic. Typically, you're going to see, you could see some math things done. There are many ways you could do it. But what you can kind of see, in a way, I really, usually if I'm doing something like that, there's several reasons to need function blocks. Now, nowhere in that statement did I say I would write a 100% function block program. But what I'll do is we're going to right click, add a new routine. And we're going to call this routine our function block. And we're going to make that type of function block. So now we've created a new routine. I open it up, and this isn't an exercise in um, program flow, so I'm not going to go too far on this, but mainly we see we have no green here, we have no green here. That means that there's no possibility of this being scanned. And actually, even can I verify this while we're online? I think it's going to give me the warning again. I didn't, I didn't point out that warning. Warning, function block routine cannot be reached by main routine. And what that means is we need a JSR up here in our main routine. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to add another rung. And we are going to put a JSR. And we're going to go to that function block routine. That's going to get that one scanning. Also, just so we can go through the hit the basics, I'm actually going to change our 4 and 20. And we're going to go back to 4 and 20 here. So we're going to have 4. And this will be 4. And then this one is going to be 20. And that will put us put it back at our 4 to 20 milliamp scaling. And then, yeah, before we get it further, let me test that. So I go up to 20 milliamp. And that is going to give us 20. Can you believe it's starting to thunder here? Are we really going to have another power outage? Okay, but we only got a few more things to go here, so hang with me. And there's, <laughs> there's a power goes out again, guys. I'm done for the day. Okay, and I go down to four. And yep, we're showing four million. So that's back like it was. So let's talk about how we do this in a function block. So we go here and I go to edit. Then if we go to our process tab right here, and now we have a few different instructions than we typically would have. And mainly the second one is going to be our SCL instruction, our scale instruction. And you see we have an in and an out. So our in is what do we want to scale? And that was our raw value. Now, one, you see how when I get near these, they highlight green. So I'm going to drag that to there, and that connects those. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to have an output. And okay, now... If we go here, we're going to have local colon 1, oops, local colon 4, colon i dot, oops, I haven't just used the drop down. Where am I? Wow, there it is. Channel 0. So that's that. Now one thing by default, let me get through this part first, yes. Yeah. So our output is going to be scaled function block. So it's going to be a whole new tag. We're going to create that. And it's going to be a real. And one thing I don't like is by default, or did I? No, I didn't. Okay. One thing to watch out for is, let's say, let me go and add a description here. And we're just going to put, actually, I'm going to put a description on this one because this is the one that's kind of confusing. This is our analog input. Oops. Let me click off. By default, it doesn't show the descriptions. And I don't know exactly why they did that in Studio 5000. But if we go to Options, typically yours is going to look like this. And you're not going to have these descriptions. And I, I, I'm not sure why, or I don't know what the advantages would be. But if you don't see your descriptions, go to Options and look for that Show Tag Descriptions right there. Also, another one that's important, and I don't want to get into it in this video, they don't have show alias information shown typically. And I think that's another important one, but we'll talk about that one in another video. 
But okay, so this is going to take our analog input and it's going to scale our function block. And if we look here, we have block properties and we're going to click there and we see we have raw max, we have raw min, we have engineering units max, and we have engineering units min. And so if we go back to our original thing here, then we know that, let me go over, where's the slope? Yeah, we have a ratio here of our 4 to 20 equals 327 to 16383. Well, these are those numbers. So our raw max is 16383. Our raw min's 3277. Our engineering max is 20. Our engineering min is 4. So in this case, and this is where, you know, people who are diehard ladder or diehard function block or diehard structured text, you know, I can't agree with any of them because you know, they all have some really key advantages. So our max raw is going to be 16,383. Our raw min is going to be 3,277. And then our engineering unit max is going to be 20. And our engineering unit min is going to be 4. And let's start by just throwing that in. And we know we're at 4 milliamp right now. We put that in and okay, it's 3.998. Well, let's open up our controller tags just so we can see. We go down or to scale. Oh, did I put the um? I put the all right. So I made a mistake. I put my um. No, I didn't. I'm just blind. What did I do wrong? I just I just created that. It just needs sorted. Now they're both side by side. So notice these numbers: the scaled function block number and the scaled ladder are identical. I'm going to run it up to 20 milliamp. And there you go. We're right at 19.998. But mainly they're exactly the same. So this equation right here, all this craziness, is done by this simple scale instruction. So I would absolutely use this scale instruction normally. I would never do this compute. Now there's a few exceptions to this though, and that's why it's important to know this, is if you have... Studio 5000 Mini, then you are not going to have access to function blocks or structured text. You have to have at least light to get those features. And yeah, you can argue that they should, but mainly Mini is a super economical way to get into this. I think it's $366 a year. You can be in Studio 5000. Everybody keeps telling me, oh, it's $10,000 for Studio 5000. No, it's not. It's like 350 bucks, a little over that every year and you're good to go but it won't have that function block so and you may see this some people prefer ladder but i would absolutely do this function block but while we're here let's look at a couple other things is right now we're at 19.998 is we have a full we have a few cool features i'm gonna take this oops let me take my range back to zero to 22 milliamps because i the analog simulator by default is not going to let you go out of range because sometimes you don't want to. You know, remember I changed that range earlier. So I just changed it back to 0 to 22 milliamps. And I'm going to go back in here and we're right at that 20 milliamp mark. Is I'm going to bump it up to 20.1. All right. And first, let's, let's look here. If we go to our controller tags, then we're showing. Oh, I keep having to scroll back down. But okay. They're identical numbers. Actually, interestingly, there is a rounding issue in the seventh decimal place. That's kind of interesting. That's all I can say about that. But so, okay, there is a slight difference, but it's not enough difference for anybody to worry about. And, but let's go back here. Is we have this max alarm and min alarm. Notice our max alarm is now a one. So we can use this an alarm if our sensor is above 20 because typically above 20 means something is wrong with your milliamp circuit and if we go down to 20 milliamps notice as soon as i whoops let me get off of that i get all right so let me go back up so notice all right we're above we get a max alarm and also if we go below 4.096 i drop it one more and now we're at three point, we get a minimum alarm. So that's gonna keep, a, that's gonna let us know that something's wrong. And if we go back to our controller tags, you can see they're sticking right together. Now here's something cool you can do with a function block. And let's say that for some reason, and I can't, I'm sorry guys, I'm not remembering who said what, 
who oh i wish i could screw man i let michael go to lunch that was um really bad somebody was asking what does it mean if your um value goes negative can't remember who it was now if you have that problem and you're like i have no idea why but i just wish it quit doing it we have this limiting right here is we can change that to a one and i'm gonna hit the apply button here and notice now our value is four and if we go over here, because now we can see our real value and our scale value, our value is 3.896. But the function box is going to limit it to 4. And now I bump it up. Now we're going to line up together, but watch what happens when I get up to 20. All right, we're at 19.9. They both look beautiful. We hit 20. They're 19. All right, they're actually 19. Point, yeah, they're right at it. So these are going to hit close. But now I'm going to go to 20.1. Notice this one fix, is fixed now at 20. And I can bring this on up. So we can get all the way to 22 milliamps. Or 21.1. So okay, and that's the limit. That's the range of this uh, module is 21. But okay. We can do that. And we're sticking at 20 here. So that. Ah. Okay, Trex Controls was one that I was asking. So that's how you could limit it, Trex Controls. If you're like, I just don't know why it's happening. You can use that to limit it um, right there. Now, I'm not going to limit it, so I'm going to change that back. Whoops, where'd it go? There it is. I'm going to change that back to a zero. I'll plot that, and that's going to throw it back up there just like the other one is. Now, we also have structured text. I'll put a link to the 4 to 20 milliamp lesson series in the description. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.